All right, gang. So this is just a quick video on how to put in one of these Moroso cutoff switches that are NHRA legal and are safe for everybody's car, okay? So I'm gonna post the, the number there. I'll give you that. I'm gonna leave a couple pictures of the different things um, as far as the part number and the instructions and the wiring of it. So this one's Freddy's car. We had put a regular switch in it and he decided he wanted the other switch, which I highly recommend these, okay? His uh, deal was he wanted it mounted here. So it's got a, that's for on, that's for off, okay? That mounted there, mounted it to the trunk lid, ran all the wires, ran all the cables, put new ends on it. The important thing is this loop and you'll see that in the instructions okay so basically we're gonna put this on get in the car and we'll get this thing running And it shuts off now this runs an alternator so very important if you don't run an alternator you don't need a four wire switch most cars fuel injected cars I mean honestly I, I would run an alternator on pretty much anything these days the fuel pumps take a lot draw a lot of uh, power uh, so between the fuel pump and your lights and this and that whatever trans brake stuff you definitely need um an alternator i highly suggest you run an alternator so if you don't run an alternator you don't need a four a four prong switch with the bypass for the alternator if you do run an alternator the car will not shut off if you wire it with a regular switch it's not going to shut off okay i don't care how you wire it it ain't going to work not the correct way anyway all right, so you need to run a four-way. The wires in the direction, you'll see what, what it does, and it cuts it off because it cuts power to the alternator and it cuts power to the rest of the car, okay? So a two-wire switch will cut the power off, but because the alternator's charging, has voltage going through it, okay? It's only got to be charging at like 12 volts and it'll keep it running and it won't shut off. So unless you have that other part of the switch where it shuts two things off then that cuts the power from the alternator also to the battery and then it'll shut the system down it actually shuts everything down all right so that's a quick tip for the day make sure you guys run those i know some tracks don't check them some track some tracks check them but hey man it's for your safety okay if your car is on fire banged up against the wall and it's running and spilling fuel and whatever and they go to shut your car off, it ain't gonna shut off, okay? It's gonna keep running, all right? So do what you gotta do. Part number will be in the next uh, couple seconds here. I'll, I'll put the part number in the directions. It's a Moroso switch, they're not that expensive. You get them online and you can get all that done pretty much uh, in a few hours you'll be set. You need a couple extra cable, a little bit longer cable or whatever you're gonna need. If you already have a two wire, uh, in the car, you need to just run a, a number six would be good from the alternator all the way back. Okay, so you definitely got to run a wire from the alternator all the way back to the, to the switch, wherever the switch is mounted. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.